Hi Taurus, it's December 18th, 2023, and it's time for our daily get together. So let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what you should be aware of, Taurus. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know at the time they're viewing this video? <coughs> Sorry, Taurus. <coughs> What does Taurus need to know at the time they're viewing this video? Let's connect, Taurus, you and me. Let's figure out what's going on. The very first card you have is the Three of Cups. And then you have the Two of Cups. Looks like you're having fun with somebody here, Taurus. There may be even a child here. I'm seeing a three. Three people, maybe. Um... And you have the Three of Wands. There's something here that you're waiting for. And then you have the Knight of Cups. And in the center of the reading, you have the Ten of Wands. Even though I'm seeing love here in your energy, you're very loved, Taurus. Um, there's... There's something here that's very difficult on you, okay? The Ten of Wands is in the center of your reading, and we're going to go back and clarify everything. But something else is touching all of these cards, and so it's affecting everything in your life, whether you know it or not. Um, this difficulty is affecting everything, the people around you, everything. And then you have the King of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. The Ace of Cups and the Five of Pentacles and Death. Scorpio energy, Death. Pisces, Pisces, you're not Pisces, I'm sorry, you guys. Taurus. Um, someone here has Pisces in their chart or they're dealing with the Pisces. Um There's someone else inside of you, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that the right way, but um, there's something, there's something, I, I, I don't feel like I want to say something, I feel like I want to say someone else, like, like there's this other version of you, Taurus. Something here about sadness, illness, maybe feeling a lack of money, feeling ghosted, whatever it is, it's coming to an end with the death card here. There's happy times ahead. Why is the three of cups here? Okay, so you see, look, just what I just said, there's happier times ahead. The Six of Swords literally means you're moving into calmer water, out of choppy water, out of difficult times, and there's very good times ahead of you now. All right. 
you're moving into a calmer place, but with this Ten of Wands, there's something here that you need to get done, and in your mind, you can't put this down until you're done. You have the Three of Pentacles here, so you began working on the new already, Taurus, with the Three of Pentacles. This is a low number, it's a three, but you've set some type of foundation for yourself here. And you have the Sun, Leo energy, happier days ahead, the happiest card in the tarot deck. Whew. You're going to be really happy really soon, Taurus. I'm, I am really, really seeing you happy. Um, if you're not feeling this right now, because you have this other energy sitting here on the outside, there's a new version, a different you, like literally a different you that exists inside of you. And I'm seeing that other side of you coming out. Why is the Two of Cups here? You have the Fool, Aries energy. And you have the World. And the Page of Wands. And this Fool card, it's, I don't know what this means, but to me, when I was just looking at it, it was like, normally, the dog here is trying to stop the man from taking a leap of faith, because it's risky, jumping off of this cliff. I just saw it the other way around. I saw the, the man kind of pulling the dog back. So I'm seeing something here that you're no longer willing to risk. All right. That's coming to an end. You have the world here. You have a new plan. You have a different plan in mind. Um, in the past, you could have been someone who was taking foolish risks or something Taurus but you have the world right behind it like it's come full circle it's coming to an end some type of risky behavior and there's a whole new you a whole new plan and there's love here Taurus there's I don't know if this person's here yet because the timeline could be a little bit different for all of you guys, but you guys have love. You have someone here that is, um, brings a lot of joy and happiness to your life. Your ships are coming in. When you see the three of wands, you have put something out into the universe, something that you want, and now you're waiting for the return. And the Three of Wands means that ship is coming in, but you're tired. I'm seeing you tired. You have Nine of Wands here. You have the Seven of Wands underneath it. You're fighting for something here. I feel. I really feel like you're giving it all you got. Why is the Three of Wands here? You have the Queen of Wands. And you have the Eight of Wands. And the Tower. Hmm. Tell me about this Tower. Your Wish Fulfillment is the Tower.
for some strange reason, Taurus, I'm seeing you waiting for something here. And when this shows up, your wish fulfillment, it's going to shock you. It's going to come in unexpectedly, okay? Maybe a message while you sleep or something. It comes in unexpectedly. And the Eight of Wands is here, so you might be traveling. But I'm seeing you getting busy getting to work. And um, looking your best with the Queen of Wands energy, male or female. This is you stepping into this Queen of Wands energy. This very, very fiery type of energy. And I keep getting, there's a whole new you stepping out into the world. Next card you have is the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Wands, the High Priestess, Pisces Energy, and the King of Wands, the King and the Queen of Wands here. There's someone here, Taurus, where I'm seeing you taking action towards this person. This is your energy and the energy of love. All right. It's like flirting, charming, teenager type of energy, having fun. And um, your true match and do not pay attention to the gender, but is the king of wands. All right. And this is a person I'm seeing that you're moving towards. This might be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But this person, they're kind of quiet. Maybe not on the outside, but this person keeps a lot hidden from you. This is someone who's a lot busier than what you think they are, Taurus. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Tell me why the Knight of Wands here. This person comes towards you with a lot of passion. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. And... This person's hiding something from you. What they're hiding from you is I feel like they're in some type of healing energy. All right. They're trying to heal over something that they don't talk about. They keep it hidden. And this person, whether they're in your energy right now, um, at this moment, or if this is someone to come, um, I'm seeing this person, it's almost like they're, they hide their pain. It's hidden. They show happiness on the outside, but they're in some type of healing energy. The next card you have is the Ten of Wands. So, I mean... You're working a lot. You may feel like your back hurts or something, Taurus. But you're standing up straight. Why is the Ten of Wands here? You have the Lovers Gemini energy. You're making an, 
an emotional choice here, Taurus, with the lovers. I'm seeing here that you're investing in something. And this something, it has to do with time. All right? It, something that you've been waiting for. And you're struggling with. And it has to do with your money or your material world here, Taurus. But you're going to be dropping this very soon. The Ten of Wands means it's almost over. It's almost done. And the old, the old life here is literally dying off. Okay, I told you. There's this energy here of pain, sadness. Maybe not having enough money that is coming to an end. And there is a new you emerging out of it. It's like you're coming out of this stronger. There was a reason why you went through what you went through. And it's so that this, this new side of you comes out for some reason. Tell me why the King of Swords is here. Okay, so you have the Page of Swords. You got someone here that's that's watching you or trying to find out, find out information about you, Taurus. This person, they may be a Capricorn. Um, they might be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I'm seeing a cold energy here. And... Um, They're watching you, and I don't know how else to say it, but, um, I mean, they're stuck. The devil and the eight of swords, they're stuck. They're obsessed. An obsession with watching you, trying to find out information. You could have someone here in your energy that is going through some type of legal matter, Tell me more about the King of Swords. The Two of Wands. Another energy of feeling stuck. But spirits are going to give us a hint. <laughs> this is someone that you have history with. Someone that you've known for a long time. The next card you have is the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Emperor, the Hierophant, and the Four of Cups. Be very careful not to miss an opportunity, Taurus. That's what the Four of Cups means. Do not miss an opportunity. Because there's one coming in here. But you may be so busy... With all of the little things that you're doing in life, that you're not noticing the big things in life. Because there's something big coming in. There's something where um, you're going to want to stop for a minute. Alright, this is um, some type of material gain. The Six of Pentacles. I see you looking out of the corner of your eye. At this card. You see? <coughs> but the Four of Cups is telling you do not miss this opportunity. Because there's a higher level of commitment here. Alright? The Divine is stepping in. Justice is stepping in. Things are going to be turning your way. And you have the emperor here. So, um, it's like a new job, a higher position, a higher pay. And right underneath this energy here of the Ten of Wands, where something's very heavy to carry around. 
it could have something to do with your home you know like you could be doing a lot of work around the home um there's a lot of work being done here though and i'm seeing you just going with the four of swords you're like i just have to close my eyes look at your eyes i just have to take a break i have to rest and it is then when you least expect it that something great comes in with the ace of cups so let's clarify this why is the four of swords here you have the queen of swords you're work you're worried about your money i feel like a lot of you there's some it doesn't have to be money but the four of pentacles is usually money a lot of times and you're even having a hard time sleeping it's like you're just pushing yourself and it is something in the material world something that you're really really up in your head about i have to get this done and the four of pentacles is here i don't have enough And there's two fourths here, like as if it's your stability. And I feel like that energy right there is why you have to keep carrying something around before you can let it down. All of this weight. Let's see what's coming. This hand coming out of the sky. Let's see what comes with this hand. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, so you have the Six of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. There's a different you, all right? The Queen of Cups. Taurus, there's a different you. Do you guys believe me? Leave me a comment. There's a whole new you that just keeps pushing itself out, showing its face out from behind all of these burdens, this weight, this heaviness, this difficulty. The sun is coming in right there. The universe is stepping in here. Everything's lining up as it should. I mean, you have the Ace of Cups. You have a gift. You have the Six of Cups. This is a gift you've had your whole life. It's your soul's journey that you're on. And you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So this is um, definitely... A whole new journey for you. Something that you will love. You're showing up here as the Queen of Cups. So whatever this whole new journey is, this whole new walk, you're showing like you're in love with this. They say if you're doing something you like, you never work a day in your life. And I feel like this is something that you like like some type of gift that you have, maybe an artist, I don't know what it is, but there's something here that you do where it's going to change your life. So let's see why you had to go through all of this that you've been through, all right? And what some of you are still going through. You have the five of pentacles and you have death and ending of some type of very difficult energy here with the five of pentacles. Why is the five of pentacles here? The four of pentacles, you've been holding on to some idea or a way of thinking too tightly, afraid to stand up. And walk away from it. 
You're going to see something different, Taurus. And then you have the King of Wands. This is the energy you're showing me now is someone who doesn't take no for an answer, all right? This is someone who goes and gets what they want. This is someone holding on too tightly, afraid to let go, fear. There's fear here. But there's a whole new you. Spirits are telling me it. it's going through my head over and over again in this reading. Why is the five why is the five pentacles here? The two of pentacles. You've been juggling here with the two of pentacles. You've been trying to keep up with everything at the same time. But this is coming to an end. Tell me why death is here. Why is this coming to an end? See, there's the whole new you. The Queen of Wands energy. And this is you stepping out of your comfort zone. And, uh... This is a very, very fast, fast energy, Taurus. It's the fastest moving card in the tarot deck. It's non-stoppable, the type of energy that you're showing me. It's like you're on fire. Nothing can stop you. You're looking straight ahead. And um, the chariot, it's like... And the chariot, when you see the chariot, it's like you're stepping out of a city that you've lived in where you feel comfortable. And I'm not saying this literally. Some of you are literally, but not all of you. This is cancer energy. And it's um, you coming out of some type of belief system, the way you were living, that kept you feeling in a position of lack. And I keep getting this wand energy for you. Like a lot of excitement, a lot of passion. See, you've got a job to do. This knight has a job to do. Justice and the King of Swords. Someone here has a legal matter going in your favor. And good news with the Page of Cups. But justice. Um, you've been feeling down. Like, like this. You're going to be going up here, Taurus. I'm seeing it's like a decision is being made. You're, rec you're being recognized. Someone's walking away from like a marriage or a home or something. Not everyone, but I'm seeing you walking to a place here where you're more in control of your emotions. And there's a celebration up the head, up ahead down the road for you. And there's someone here um, that you're going to be meeting or is already in your energy possibly. But this is a soulmate. And this person, they might be, um, they could be any sign, okay? But I'm seeing like a lot of water, a lot of fire. I feel like this is the reconciliation of a soulmate or a twin flame. And I just keep hearing it is, it is. Like, there is no feel. It is. Something here about this person will be very familiar, very comfortable. Alright, you guys. Ask your angel's question. Ask it out loud. And choose number one, number two, or number three. 
If you need to pause the video, pause the video. If not, if you choose number one, compromise. If you chose number two, you have abundance. And if you choose number three, within the next few months. And let's get some advice from the universe, Taurus. Let's get your Moonology cards. Taurus. Full moon in, in Capricorn. Take a reality check. Last quarter moon in Leo. Lighten up, Taurus. And last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. And on the bottom of the deck, you have um, first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. It's time to do some meditation, salt baths, release your blocks. There's a whole new you coming out. All right, you guys, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe. And um, for your donations to the channel and everything you guys do for being here with me. I love you guys so, so much. And uh, we will check back in here again tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.